Hey y'all, I'm in, uh, I'm at Crooked Lake in Indiana, I don't know exactly where that's at, um, but anyways, I'm up here doing some uh, advanced party kind of stuff for the car show in October, and uh, hanging out with a buddy of mine at his lake house, and looking at, he's got several hot rods, I'll show you those later, but uh, right now what I want to show you is a little go-kart his dad made for him when he was a kid. Um, I think it's made out of like a fuel tank from an aircraft or something, but anyways, let me run Tim down and we'll take a look at it. Tim, how are you, brother? Good. Please meet you, Scotty. <laughs> Please let me. I've been living at your house for two days. Yeah. Good to meet you, Killing too. Place. Yeah, he lets people just come in the basement and hang out. He doesn't even know who the hell they are. That's what life is. That's it. It's a party, brother. Tell me uh, tell me a little bit about this hot rod. Oh, this is just, my dad built this for my brother and I in 1959. Uh, we had it in parades. He owned a body shop in Little Defiance, Ohio. His whole life. And retired there, died there, and uh, I ended up with it. It's just a neat old turd. He Still runs? Oh, yeah, absolutely. He, he built a lot of stuff around the shop. What, did, what is the body made from? The body is actually a wing tank off a bomber. We were at an old salvage yard over in Ohio, and uh, he just looked up on the pile, and there was this wing tank off a bomber, and he says, hey, he says, you boys want a go-kart? <laughs> Natural. Yeah. You know, 12 years old. Right on. Old. Yeah. Right. We got a go-kart. Cool, man. That is cool. Later, he, he's building it. He's built out of... I think this this was a 55 old steering wheel he cut down and narrowed. This was a fuel tank off a farm all tractor. These are 51 or two Buick vent holes. I remember cutting this out. We were in the body shop. This was cut out of the, a bad hood off a 57 Chevy and cut it out with a torch and just. What kind of motor is it running? It's got right now. It's got a little Honda in it, a 10 horse. We started with a 10 horse Briggs and Stratton, which I updated it here six, eight years ago because it was just just a big old heavy iron. And then it had the, the wheels on it were off of like a boat trailer at the time. And so we upgraded the wheels. But other than that, I hadn't touched the paint. And we put the X-15 on it. That was a, a theme at the time. Because, Man, I'll tell you what, it's um, got pretty nice paint on it. Yeah, and it's And he cut the teeth out in the front? Yeah. In 1959. I'm telling you. He filled it out of well pipe. I remember taking that pipe and having to hold one end while he Got it hot and bent it around a pole, you know. <laughs> just for the bumper. Yeah. For the what do you use for front suspension? You made all that too? Yeah, we went to the junkyard and he's cut, he's cutting, you know, tie rod ends and everything out of cars. And when we first got it done, the funny part is, we first got it done, he's going down the road and you turn right and go left. <laughs> so you get everything bass backwards. But uh, you know, he straightened that out. It just a change of joint. But I mean, it was just. It's that just is cool, man. Stuff. It's got a hood, Ford hood ornament. And Chevrolet. This is a, yeah, this is a, I think a 49 Mercury, 49 or 50 Mercury, part of a grill we had at the shop that was broke, and he stuck that on there. But he put the vents in the side to actually, all those vents, I can see, are they open. They were all functional. Yeah, yeah, they're all yeah. to suck heat out of there. The, the motor setting back there got pretty hot. Now, that gas cap, and that, oh yeah, the gas cap can. Yeah, and originally, back. originally, this is where we filled it from. The old Briggs and Stratton was filled through here, and now right. this, this overhead gam system, uh, we've got a different fill tube, but I mean, Nothing has changed other than wheels, tires, motor. I mean, it's and the, brakes. the way he built. Yeah, the brakes were the old. What kind of brakes did you all have? Well, they had the pads, the brake pads that pushed against the tire. Oh. You know, the old asbestos. Right. You had them screwed onto a plate that, you know, pushed up against it. How'd that work? Uh, not worth a damn. <laughs> not you know? too well. <laughs> just, you know. Now, was uh, his shop on uh, Bud's Auto Body? Bud's Auto Body in Defiance, Ohio. That's, that's where... I grew up. Man. And, uh, just a neat deal. I remember when he first got it running, my granddad was the chase vehicle. My dad, my actually my stepdad, but he's my dad as far as I'm concerned, was driving it. My granddad's a, the chase vehicle, and he, he got loose on the road on Highway 66 north of Defiance. And uh, it was shut down, rebuilding it, and he went off the road at 70 mile an hour and threw a fence. Holy <laughs> cow, about killed him? Yeah, damn near. Hmm. He ducked. And then that's all. <laughs> this over here. It's like off a Galaxy 500. That yeah, one, that's right? a 500. Uh, the rock Look how the, he fitted the. Uh, oh yeah, that's all hand hammered. I mean, well, he, it's all it's all really unnecessary aesthetic yeah. stuff, but he wanted to make it look yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like I say, and the, the headrest was off a farm old tractor. I mean, it, there's everything on it I can equate to something we worked on in the shop. Right, extra parts, spare parts you had later on. Yeah, wreck yeah. cars or whatever. Dude, that is just it's, so cool. It's the neat thing. And, and when he passed, I just had to keep it. There's just not so. And now your grandkids ride, get to ride around Absolutely. it. Absolutely. That's yeah. why it's got hand controls on it now. My, 
my grandbabies are little, and well, I was too at the time, but you know, you got to be able to reach the pedals, and right. I knew they couldn't, so we put hand controls on it. So. And folks, I'd so love, I'd love to show you the thing running down the road, <laughs> but Tim put yeah. it off into a tree earlier, yeah, and, he's, and he's it tore up. <laughs> it broke. <laughs> Anyways, it starts, bro. yeah. <laughs> it starts, you know what a Honda motor sounds yeah. like, no big deal. But uh, yeah, you can see yeah. he broke the suspension, so we can't show you it running. But I knew, I knew when I saw this. Tim's got, look, this is what he's got sitting around his house, right? And very nice cars. Yeah, we'll get to them. We're going to shoot them. But the one that I was beating you up about was the go-kart. I was yeah, like, tonight exactly. we got to shoot the go kart. Tonight we got to shoot the go kart. It was in upstairs in the other garage. It was in another garage. Yeah. yeah. Covered with dust. I, I forgot all about it. <laughs> it's been a fixture for me since 1959. So, well, dude, a big shout out to you and the dad because that that is just cool, man. Yeah. Tim, thanks thanks so much for your hospitality this weekend, it. brother. I appreciate Thank you. Much, Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah. You guys, get on Scotty D TV. There you go. It's a cool channel. There you go, folks. There you go. There's uh Tim's uh kid go kart. Uh, from 1959. I knew you had to see this one. Hope you all have enjoyed it. You have a good day. See ya.